Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 37. Here we are, back in Darker Basin. We just, uh, last episode we completed the DLC. We uh, took out two bosses last episode, which is... I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> and these are the two chunky bosses with that. Uh, Manus himself and uh, Kalamit. So, thankfully they went down without too much trouble. We got uh, Kalamit's sword, and I was kind of in a hurry to just finish the episode, so we didn't have a chance to look at it, but... This thing's really cool. It's uh, it's another dragon weapon, I believe. Uh, it's a great sword. Um, the power of its obsidian blade will be released when it's held with both hands. So yeah, let's quickly put this on, um, and you'll notice too. It's like all these dragon weapons. If you do the strong attack while two-handed, it does like a special yeah fire attack, and that's at of course at the cost of the weapon's durability. So now we're already that used 50 durability right there. Yeah. So you only get seven of those, so use them wisely. We're gonna stick with our handy dandy black knight sword back to the good old build but uh we won't be for much longer so i figured i'd uh throw it on um anyway while we're down here let's uh have a quick chat with um dusk now that she's here let's see if she uh remembers what we did for her you know saving her from menace and all that okay so i'm dusk of Willisio. it is an honor to see thee again I shall follow thine wishes. So you can still buy things from her, of course. I don't think she sells anything new. My home of Ulysseo was reduced to ashes long ago in my time. I have been alone ever since. But to be summoned thus, and to be of service to thee, it is most rewarding. Oh, forgive me. Such a long pastime is none of thine concern. This may strike thine ear as somewhat peculiar, but long ago, in my homeland of Ulysseo, I was beset by a creature from the abyss. I would have perished then, were it not for the great knight Artorius. In truth, I saw little of what transpired, for mine senses were already fled, but even still, there was something about Artorius, a certain balance of the humors that quite perfectly fits your semblance. Heavens, could it be that? Oh, dear me, that was Ulysseo many centuries ago. Please excuse my fanciful musings. So yeah, she uh, she's slowly uncovering the truth, but not quite ready to accept it. This may strike that's all she's gonna say. So yeah, you get that's the closest thing we're gonna get to <laughs> some any real validation here. But anyway, yeah, we saved her, we saved the day. If thou art in need, I wish to be a may the And yeah, she'll just be here to summon if we need to. Uh one last thing I wanna point out. Um if you noticed on the Soul of Madness, right? It actually gave us a hint as far as why we even got dragged into this. He uh he's eternally seeking his broken pendant. And if you remember how we got into this whole DLC uh, the key item was this broken pendant. Half of a broken stone pendant. The vine appears to originate from Ulysses. Powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. So I might have read that on our way in, but um, it doesn't exactly hint that it's Nemanis's. In fact, I didn't even realize that <laughs> at the beginning. I sort of just figured that out on the spot uh, last episode. But um, anyway, now that we're back here, uh, there's a reason I came back to this area. It wasn't just talk to dusk. Uh, we're gonna want to just hold the button back up. <laughs> Honestly, it'll be faster. Uh, but we want to go back to Horse Hunter area because if you remember, there was a, uh, a fog boss there, fog wall, and uh, I'm gonna rejoin with the Forest Hunters so that way the guys don't attack me. But now that we've done the DLC we can actually take on this boss. And um, there's a reason why I've been saving for so long. Right, so you can fight this boss, like, as soon as you get here, right? Um, if you just, even as soon as you get here from the gargoyles, if you have 20,000 souls, you can open up the thing. You don't even need 20,000 souls. If you go defeat the Hydra and go up the ladder, you can go the long way and you can get there, but, um, and you can even get there even earlier if you like rush through the shortcut areas at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls, it's, it's really cool, the design. Um, so you can just access so much at the beginning, but that's uh, besides the point. The main point being that uh, this is also a really cool boss that we're going to be fighting soon. 
And yeah, the reason why we saved it for so long, right? So you can fight him right away, but I didn't. And the reason is because you can get a special cutscene if you uh, do some stuff in the DLC first for fighting the boss. So I will, uh, I'll mention right when the cutscene's about to begin, and then, um, and then you'll, you'll see why. <laughs> It's a, it's a very important cutscene that was worth getting. Um, so yes, here we are. I'm gonna rest at this bonfire because um, it's the best bonfire for fighting the boss, of course. Like I said, join with the forest hunters. That way you don't get attacked by all the humans in here. My uh, fellow forest hunters. I don't know. You might be able to still attack them. I don't know for sure. I'm not gonna try because I think, uh, no, I think you definitely can do that, but then you'll get kicked out because, if you remember, that was like one of the main rules when you first joined, it's whatever you get is yours, but don't, don't be fighting other hunters. It's the golden rule. So we have stuck to that rule. We haven't fought any other hunters and, uh, with our privilege, we're going to make our way to the boss. And now that we're walking through here, I'm sure it rings a bell from uh, the DLC. All it looks a lot like Ulseal, just a lot more run down and foggy. Um, but yeah, the geography is like exactly the same. Um, over there is actually where the DLC started, right? If you remember, we talked with Elizabeth, we sort of crossed a bridge and then we came up over. Then as we were looking this way, um, we got some armor. Then we headed in that direction to get on like the bridge with Calamite sauce. So yeah, really cool. I, I don't know exactly how much you can retrace of Lucille in Darker Garden, but definitely like the key areas. So anyway, here we are. What is this place? Well, this place is the Grave of Artorias. Um, which actually, I mean, we did kill him and Siren did bury him back in the arena. So don't know who moved him over here, but he's here now. And uh, yeah. Walking in, like with most bosses, um, the first time we're going to get a cutscene. And once we get over to that sword over there, it's going to trigger. So pay close attention to who it is we're going to fight and how he's going to react. Yep, we unfortunately do have to fight Sif himself. And as you can tell, he's not too happy about it. We're not too happy about it. But it's his duty. He uh, He's here to... Uh... Oh, that's not my rules here. He's here to guard Artorius' grave. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So, um, we do have to come here with reason, though. Um, we are after the treasure that we're going to get, which I'll talk about once we get it. But... Uh, as you can see, he does, he fights like Artorias, right? Like, he does spinny things with the sword, but he, of course, being a dog, has to use his mouth. But, um, you know, he's still, this could be a challenging fight. At this point, we're pretty overleveled, I would say, for the Sif fight. Normally, I would fight him, like, um, I don't know, maybe, like, right before Sam's Fortress. I'd usually, like, pick it up just to have it, but, um, yeah, we are, he's already halfway dead. And let's see here. Once you get him down to low health, uh, it gets extra heartbreaking. We'll see in a second here. Uh, just get it. You know what? I want to get him down to like just one hit left. And, uh, yeah, we're completely just poisoning through the attacks. Ow. Let's heal. He's not being too aggressive, which is good. Yeah. 
as with most bosses, your safest spot is going to be directly in the middle. So let's see here. Is he weak enough now? He might, I might have to like punch him a bit here. Let's do that. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh shoot! All right, <laughs> I thought I would punch. I should hit my right trigger. That's it. So anyway, um, maybe next in new game plus I'll get it to happen. But essentially, um, if you get him to low health, he'll start like limping and like sometimes roll over and like be in pain. It's really heartbreaking because like you're fighting the dog you saved and it's just in pain. But anyway, for our troubles. Uh, we got the usual stuff, right, like Soul and um, Homeward Bone, but we got the the Covenant of Artorias, and that's going to be a ring that's going to be uh, very important for the, uh, actually, the next area that we're going to after this, uh, which is part of why we're doing it in this order. Um, and I'll explain it more when we, when when that becomes relevant, I'll talk more about it. But um, it's essentially sort of like, to think of what it is, it's like, it's a ring that represents Artorias' legacy at, I don't know what you want to call it, but it, it essentially represents his fight against the Abyss. So it, it should really be, you know, the uh, our ring, you know, <laughs> since we really saved the day. But, you know, Artorias did get the credit, so um, we're going to give that one to him. Uh, but anyway, since I don't feel like walking, let's move bone out of here. More importantly, though, we got the Soul of Sif. And that item there, if you remember for a while now, I've said... My build has been, like the stats that I've been setting up have been with the purpose of using a specific weapon. Well, we finally have the means to get that weapon. And um, yeah, we're gonna have to go to Anorlando for that. Um, or actually, wait, not, I should've gone to the Chamber of the Princess. Um, but anyway, that's, essentially the tricky thing with this weapon was, right? Like we've been ready to use it for a while. But the thing is, we needed to fight Sif to do it, and because I wanted to get the special cutscene, we needed to do the DLC first. And because I'm, um, because I'm dramatic, I wanted to save the DLC for kind of near the end. <laughs> so that's why we're getting this weapon so late. But like I said, as soon as you fight Sif, you can get this thing. Um, and if you're gonna rush the weapon though, then the real bottleneck is gonna be the, uh, gonna be your stats at that point. Um, ooh, big fall. Oh, it's worried that I can actually, but we're good. So, uh, we want to head to the giant blacksmith, and the reason for that is that we are going to need um, his skills for creating boss weapons. So yeah, all those souls of bosses you get, each of them can be used to make a uh, special weapon. Get out of here with your wannabe goth arrows. Um, I like to think that goth was the captain of all the archers. I mean, probably was, really. <laughs> Being the archer guy and all. But, um... Oh, if you remember, too, that, you know, Goff said he's, like, friends with this blacksmith, and, um... The blacksmith, the treasure chest behind them was actually the hawk ring, if you remember, so... Uh, this being the future from Ulusil, I like to think that, uh, you know, this is him sort of keeping watch over his buddy's stuff while he's gone. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, cut down the business here. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, this is the crystal armor. Remember we uh, picked this up back in the Duke's archives? Um, yeah, if we want to make crystal weapons, he's the guy for that. But yeah, we're not interested in a, uh, in a crystal weapon today. No, today, what we want, if we go to here. I had to upgrade this straight sword hilt, right? So that's the key. You can use the Soul of Sif to make a great sword of Artorias, and I probably should have gotten another plus 10 one for to demonstrate. But to get the real great sword of Artorias, you need to use either the broken straight hilt or the straight sword hilt. You get it up to plus 10, all weapons up to plus 10 are how you ascend. But when you use a broken sword with the solo sif, you can create the great sword of Artorias, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally, finally gotten the weapon we were made for the great sword of our choice. let's take a look at this guy 24 strength 18 dexterity 20 intelligence and 20 faith this is one of the most um well-rounded weapons i don't know if well-rounded is the word but um it requires the most variety of sets for sure um 
And with that, though, you'll notice it gets a C, C, and B, and B in scaling. Which means that if you do diversify your stats like this, this weapon has potential to be one of the strongest in the game. Um, I don't know. Okay, so right now it's definitely not going to be better than our uh, than our Black Knight Sword. But uh, that's only because it's not upgraded yet. In order to upgrade boss weapons, you got to use Demon Titan, which um, I'm going to pop some souls because uh, I think I'm going to need some to actually do the reinforcing here. Let's uh, use this one. How about that? Um, but yeah, Demon Titanite, we have some, I don't know if, we probably don't have enough to uh, fully upgrade this, but we can get it most of the way. Um, oh wow, it costs 5,000 a pop. Okay, so, uh, with that, we need like 20,000 souls here. Uh, so let's go ahead and luckily for us, we found some souls of heroes. So let's pop one of these guys. That should get us, uh, only 10,000 no. Uh, let's use another then, and uh, we're also going to need to get like, another 1,000 souls, I think. It's 2,500. Although, wait, we probably don't have enough for the full upgrade, so let's just get this thing going. Uh, so, class one, one, I think we're going to need nine total. So, yeah, we need one more. Um, so with that, let's get our great sword plus four here. And let's see how this thing actually compares by now. Uh, so this does 168 plus 76, and then 118 plus 80, whereas this does 330 plus 101. Uh, so yeah, our Black Knight Sword is probably still going to be a little better. And in fact, let's use it for full time's sake one more time. Uh, we're going to use this video. We're going to hunt down the rest of those um, Titanite demons that I was sort of putting off until now. And uh, yeah, I'll cut to the first one, and um, I'll see you there. So the first one's actually really close by. Uh, we're back here, uh, so in there is the main chamber. And uh, if you remember, I sort of peeked my head in here. But uh, let's see, now that we have a Black Knight Sword plus five, let's see how well this fight goes. Uh, we just took on Manus, you're nothing. And actually, I just noticed that these guys, their heads look a lot, like they have this, their horns are the same as Manus's horns. So I don't know if there's a connection there, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, this guy's taking a pan. Ooh, good touch, good touch. I right, see now that's I don't like when, when they're like in the corner with their back to the wall. Let's see if we can get them to jump out. Oh, he got me. I was about to say nearly got him without even getting hit, but we're not that pro yet. There we go. Oh, two demon time there. Very nice. Um, let's see here. I think that's, that's it for this one here. Um, and that's actually probably all we need to upgrade. Uh, but I will still kill the other uh, Titanite Demons, which just uh, put me over here. So let's uh, get this thing up to plus five. And with that, oh, wait. yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. So let's see now how it compares. Uh, so it, it's going to do 180 plus 108. That's, uh, what, 288 physical plus... 27 plus about what 250 ish magic so it is split so um the total damage is going to be higher right but when it's split that means that the enemies get to use both of their defenses so sometimes it means less damage overall um so yeah at the moment it might not actually be better than our black knight sword but the good news is that that's only because our um our dex our intelligence and faith are only at 20 right now right um my plan is this, is to get this up to level 120, this character. And we only have four more points for endurance. And then the rest of that is all going into intelligence and faith, which means that that's going to directly scale with our damage and also allow us to start using some more spells and miracles, which I honestly should have been using this whole time. But real quick, while we're in here, let's uh, take a good look at this up there because this is a fancy RPG sword, if I ever saw one. Um, yeah, so that whole plan of uh, we're going to get our intelligence faith up to 40, that's not happening anytime soon, by the way. Um, that's going to be just over the course of New Game Plus, and to be perfectly honest, I doubt we're going to get all the way to the end, um, unless I do like a lot of uh, grinding for souls, which I honestly may or may not do. I don't know. Maybe by the end of New Game Plus, um, I will just get us to level 120, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, numbers testing. But um, until then, our next goal is actually 
going to be in the uh, lower parts here. So, ooh, yeah, that puts us into fat roll range. So maybe I will just uh, keep Pebbles Ring and then swap out. Swap out the yeah, Wolf Ring. Because, yeah, we're going to need our Rust Iron Ring since we'll be down in the tar pits. Uh, but, yeah, with our sword, let's see how well this goes. Uh, we'll take on the Man Serpents. That'll be good. First test. I think this thing is probably comparable to uh, our Black Knight Sword at this point. Uh, but yeah, as far as the moveset, right? So that looks similar, but our strong attack is this big sweeping. So just kind of like the Black Knight Sword, right? Where, um... I wanna... Okay, well. Uh... Yeah, we did not have enough poise for that. But we can do that. Did we really not aggro the other one? I want to really try to catch something with this, because I feel like this might one-shot one of these snakes. So maybe if we start now... Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's the power of the Great Sword of Artorias. Although, like I said, I think our Black Knight Sword would have done something similar. Let's just quickly look at the one-handed moveset. So again, just the standard, and then a big stab. Very cool, very cool. Um, Alright, so where we want to go is down there. So let's go for the plunging tech. There's, the only way down is like this, so you may as well... <gasps> Did, no, we just one shot. <laughs> we just one shot it! Well, yeah, this is a this is a powerful weapon, my friends. So there's a Demon Titanite. Let's go take on the others. Um, okay, yeah, so there's that firing squad up there, by the way. Just be careful. Over here, we have another one. We'll take this one on the traditional way. Wow, look at that. Look at those numbers. Maybe this thing is better than the Black Knight Sword already. Anyway, I'm very glad we have it. And, oh, I did it. Wow. Down he goes. So, that'll get us so that Demon Titan that he had. Uh, let's assault Brave Warrior. And then over here was a weapon, uh, the Scythe. It's a type of halberd. Um, I don't know if there's anything special about it, but if you want it, you can come down here and get it. Um, either way, we have two more Titanite beans. Ow. Weird. And these ones can be a real pain in the butt to fight. So, uh, no, we'll, we'll use our sword. Because the problem is, we got this guy here, and then that one is down over there. Which, actually, I kind of like hiding in this corner here. Oh, and the lightning bolt. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... Okay, these two here are the reason why finding these guys suck. So I think I will try to just be cheap and just kill the first one with pyromancy or something. I don't know. Um, oh, I forgot to reset the bonfire. All right, either way, I'll cut back and I'll meet you guys down there. All right, so let's, uh, let's try out our ascended plus five pyromancy flame. Let's see how well that appears for us. Oh, no. Ow. I just, I feel like I knew he was going to start with a jumping attack, so that's kind of my fault. Yeah. So if we can land these other hits, that would be very good for us. Just kind of accepted the trade there. I think we can finish him off. Or, no, one more will do it. Heal up. Because, yeah, he can hit you through the wall there. Just don't jump, and there we go. That should do it. Oh, just barely. But we can finish him off. It looks like if you can fight him back... Oh, we got the catch ball! Yes! Okay, um, I'll talk about that in a second here. Um, but yeah, you can get their weapon. It's a very rare job. And it looks like if you... I was about to say is if you make sure not to go too far close to this guy, you could probably fight the other one in the open and be fine. But, you know, we do have a fully ascended pyromancy for him, so... I feel like I should be showcasing that more than I do. But yeah, let's uh, let's make quick work of this guy. Let's make sure to always have a little bit of stamina for a roll if need be. Yeah, we are just really cutting through these guys. I think does this one have more health than the others? Actually, might. So this thing would be a real pain to fight if we. Took him on when we first came down here. 
Okay, get the stagger, and one more will do. Very nice. Alright, cool. And some more Demon Titanite, which I don't think we're going to be making anymore. <laughs> so, uh, real quick here, let's look at that catch pole that we got there. Because that is a very rare and nice find. Um, Halber, one of the Titanite demons, is a stone monster born from Titanite's lab. One of the enchanted weapons, perhaps from the residual power of the Titanite's lab. Known for its leaping attack, which comes smashing down for foes above. So yeah, this thing scales with strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Uh, it doesn't have any intelligence requirements, interesting enough, but it does do magic damage, so I'll put it on real quick. Um, I believe it's Halberd, it said, right? And it's got this, the strong attacks are like these jumping attacks that it'll do whenever he does them to us. Now we can do with them, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to use this weapon um, because, you know, we kind of got ourselves the great sword of our choice, and that's all we'll ever need. Yep, like I said, guys, this my plan is we are going to cut through New Game Plus with this weapon right here, and hopefully taking hunting down these last Titanite demons was a good demonstration of the power we now have. As for next time, uh, we're going to, all we have left is to take on the Four Kings, the final Lord Soul, and I'm really glad we got this weapon, because just like how our Black Knight Sword did bonus damage against, uh, against demons, this weapon will do bonus damage against uh, Monsters of the Abyss. Yes. So this actually would have been really handy <laughs> in the DLC, but like I said, then we wouldn't have gotten the Sif cutscene, so we're going to have to just wait for New Game Plus. Either way, we're at that point, guys. Um, I hope you had fun watching. I had fun making it. And thank you for watching. We finally have our build ready. It's a very, very exciting time for uh, any Dark Souls run. And it's very dark down here, so it's hard to get good light, but that looks good. Just, just, just basking it, guys. This is 37 parts in the making. <laughs> Alright, anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.